We are back where it all began among the palm trees in Crandon Park on Key Biscayne. But who could have imagined this welcoming a championship Sunday that 13 years ago they'd be witnessing here something so special. The teenage phenom from Spain at the top. The newly crowned Grand Slam champion from Switzerland on the bottom. And it was Nadal upsetting Federer in straight sets. They met again in the final the following year, a five-set epic. The birth of one of sports greatest rivalries. And here they come full circle meeting in a final for the first time on U.S. soil since here in 2005. Federer has not won this title in more than a decade. Nadal has never won it. Four finals eluding him. But it's Rafa Roger, number 37. Always a special occasion. The final here in Miami. to be a, another one for both of us and that's it just another one i came here and i played the youngster nadal this was before everybody knew him and i ended up losing the first ever match against him then the following year we played in the finals Somehow I won in the fifth. I guess I got lucky that day. When we had that finals, I understood that this is going to be probably one of my biggest rivals moving forward. I didn't think we were going to both have the career that we did for the next 12 years. Here we are, 12 years later, we had a great and very long career. That's great for fans, that's great for us, for sure, and hopefully that's good for them. I'm not chasing anything per se. I'm doing definitely a few things better than I ever have. I think this basically completes my comeback. Happy to still competing well after such a long time. That's something that uh, I'm very happy with. For me, that's the most important thing. You start well in Australia, then you go on this tear, you know, through any wells in Miami. I, I mean, I never thought it was going to happen. What a start it's been. Uh, it's, a, it's an absolute dream. Uh, 2017 off to a fantasy start for tennis fans around the world. Goosebump time when you see these two together, especially in a final. And for the third time this year, it's Roger versus Rafa with the Miami title at stake. And well, congratulations you along with us. Chris Fowler, Darren Cahill, this is a treat, huh? Come on. You find out? is courtside. A little different buildup than in Melbourne where the backdrop was yeah. who deserves the title of greatest of all time. Federer coming from behind to win in the fifth set. 18-14 is where the major trophy count now stands. But both guys say they had great weeks. They're savoring this moment, and I know fans everywhere are savoring it. Yeah, I think so. Now, you just don't have to be a tennis fan to know about this rivalry, to love it, to understand it, and to embrace it. It goes beyond tennis. It's really, in 50 years' time, I believe, we'll look back on this rivalry be one of the greatest in sport, not just in tennis. To me, it's the Borg McEnroe, the new generation rivalry, two different personalities, two different game styles. Just a privilege to be here and watching it. And as Rafa mentioned, tremendous longevity. Better, incredibly, playing as well as he ever has in certain areas. We talk about serve, the aggressive attacking style at age 35. 
trying to do the Masters double following up the first major of the season, it far surpassing his wildest dreams in the comeback. Yeah, sometimes a little break in tennis can really allow you to sit back and look from the outside in and reassess what you do well, what you don't do well, where you can improve, and it's also regenerated his body. He's played some tough matches here. He looks fit as a fiddle. Back-to-back -back rounds decided on final set tie breaks. Federer saved two match points against Burdick. Nadal's journey to this final has been more straightforward. Dropped the one set, the stunning six-love set in the first against Cole Schreiber. But other than that set, he's only been broken one time in the tournament. Serving better, and he has to make changes if he wants to get through this Federer game because Federer's thrown out the playbook. He's playing with some different stuff now, so he's readjusting that serve. And they have played a couple of times here. I think Nadal went into this Aussie Open final as the favorite, and he had to fight from behind because it was Federer that skipped away to a two sets to one lead. Nadal clawed him back in the fourth. Actually had a breaker serve in the fifth, but those last five games from Federer, unbelievable. It wasn't Federer the shot maker, it was Federer the fighter, and that's what made it the sweetest victory ever. That was match point, confirmed with the challenge, and they rematched in Indian Wells, and it was a far different affair. Federer came out firing, seemed to break Rafa's spirit a bit in this match. Well, Nadal's had a few routes over Federer on clay, and this was a route on hardcore because Federer just took all his time away. He got off to a quick start. He was up to love in a flash, and that was the shot that did a lot of the damage. He attacked the Nadal first serve from the backhand side. That's where the changes will come from Nadal. It's Federer's first ever three-match head-to-head win streak. It's still 23-13 in favor of Nadal. And they've played a few times now here in Miami. What could be different? Because suddenly it's the all searching for answers, trying to flip the script after so many years of Federer playing that role. Well, Carlos Moyer is in the camp here this week, and he's been paying a lot of attention to the way that Federer has played those two matches. He's had some interesting things to say about Federer, how aggressive he's off of the backhand side, where he's ball striking that backhand from, and also the ability to push Federer back behind the baseline if you attack his forehand. So I believe we'll see a lot of that from Nadal. He's been mixing up his serves so far this week. This has been one of the better serves performances I've seen from Nadal here in Miami at this event Murray and Djokovic who accounted for eight of the last ten titles not here but it hasn't mattered you get the dream final as the Swiss master and the Spanish Bulls square off for the trophy in Miami it's live after this going you can see a little hazy a little steamy humidity up a little bit from where it's been 86 degrees so challenging conditions say the breeze is 13 miles per hour with more specifics courts had his take on this dream final court side to Brad Gilbert it is absolutely steamy down here Mr. Fowler it's a two shirt day for me humidity is the highest of the tournament the wind right now isn't that bad it's on Roger's side the crowd was here at 1245 normally a late arriving crowd Rafa has been serving fantastic in this tournament and serving a lot more to the forehand. Only been broken four times. But I really believe the key stat for Rafa today is making Roger work on his serve. He's been having so many of those games where he holds in a minute and seven, minute and nine seconds, and that puts the pressure right on you. And I really believe he has to go away from his predictable pattern of trying to break down the backhand. Needs to play to the forehand as much as he can because he takes the backhand earlier. And I think that really rattled him in Indian Wells. So a lot of the lefty forehand to his righty forehand and serve to the forehand should be an electric atmosphere. And under this 99.9% for Fed fan, Rafa will have the fans today. Brad, you mentioned he's only lost serve four times. Remember, he lost three, served three times in one set against Coltra. Yeah, that was the bagel set and once to sock. Better is adventure. Happy to have that day off. But says he feels great. It's a it's a packed house. There are no cheap seats. Check online. 450 bucks for the seat farthest from the court. Folks paying well over 1500 to sit close to Roth and Roger today. Did Lubo and Mrs. Fed Fed, did they pay 1500 there in the front row? They are right behind where Roger is about to serve to begin this championship in Miami. Ladies and gentlemen, first set. 
Roger Federer, ready. Play. 